All right. Hello, everyone. It's me again. Today, we're going to take a look at uh, installing update version 288 and DLC packages for Super Smash Bros. 4 on Simu. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me this, uh, telling me, like, how, how, how should I install? Like, they, they say they got Simu up and running, but they don't have the DLC. They don't have the updates. They expected it to be there, which it's not. You got to do that by yourself. So that's what I'm here to show you guys. So it's actually uh, pretty darn simple. Uh, you're going to need two things. Well, three things, of course. You're going to need one, the game, which I'm assuming a bunch of you right now are typing away in the comments, Ray, how do I get the game? Can you send me a link to the game? No, I am not going to send you a link to the game. It is under your discretion by which you get hold of the game. I will not be providing any links anything to anybody anymore however the second two things the dlc and patch files i will provide download links for so it is up to you as to how you get the game but i will provide update and dlc files so to start of course get your game the game files right here right there get them second <sighs> gets the dlc mod we will do this second, so I guess we can just minimize this for now. Lastly, we want the update, which I believe is in this folder. Yes, I will also provide a link to this. So now, what you're going to do is actually pretty darn easy. I'll just say this right now. To update to version 288, 288, whatever, all, literally all you do... Find the corresponding folders, drag whatever the hell is in the update folder into the game folder. Like, you just right over in here. I've already installed it, but, you know, this is what you would do. So, let's go back. I'll do the other folder as well. We'll go into content. And uh, these these files you guys don't need to worry about. Um, you, let, you just take these, uh, you move them over. And it should it should take whatever's in these folders and put them in here. If there was anything missing, it might ask you to replace some stuff. All good. All Gucci. All right. Next. We're going to go. Let's see. That was Yeah, that'll work fine. Meta. Meta is probably the easiest. Content's the hardest. Meta and code are the easiest. You're going to take whatever's in here. And you're going to put them in here. So you just, you know, control A. Take it. Drag it right in here. And that's like pretty much all you have to do to get the game updated to version 2.8.8. Once it's updated, you're probably going to want to run the game, of course. Uh, so let me do that now, as a matter of fact. Uh, because there is something that, like, new that you haven't, that you won't, like, see. Uh, or that you haven't seen before if you've never installed the mod. So, uh... <laughs> I actually don't have my controller on me. Let me let me grab that right quick. Okay. I got it. We're good. Hopefully this is the one that works. I have like four, but one of them doesn't work, so... Okay, we're good. So, let's open Simu. And I'll give you guys an example of what you might see. So let me uh, make sure. I was playing this with my friends the other day. So let me disable. Let me set. Uh, it's that one, right? Yeah. So after installing the update, you're going to go to load. You're going to do whatever you do normally. You go to content, you'd load cross F, and you're going to sit at the loading screen for a while. <sighs> and normally, uh, when the game loads, you're going to expect, you know, uh, the glitched cutscene that you'd usually see. However, this time, after installing the DLC patch, you're most likely going to get a black screen like this, and you're going to think you did something wrong, but you didn't. If you go to Options, Input, Settings, what you're going to want to do, disable all input until the screen turns green. 
which it has, and it's gonna be loud. Just don't worry about that. Go back. Enable your input. Let me turn this down. Enable your input. Press A, and you should be brought to the title screen. Simple as that. I'll turn the music back up. Uh, I'll just turn this down. Okay. And you should be brought here. You're going to have to do that every time, which I know it's a little tedious, but hopefully, um, you know, Simu developers will hopefully, you know, find a way around that. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Phew. So once you get it loaded up, you know, you can play a few test rounds. You're still not going to have the DLC. You're still not going to have any, you know, uh, new characters, anything like that. So exit the game. Let's go find our directory. I guess we closed it out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll just use this one for example. The other one is modded. Um, so let's get that open. Uh, I think it's in here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, this one. So, uh, when I give you guys this file and you download it, you're going to have <laughs> like a, a folder tree here. Just get down to content patch, uh, and you're going to have all this stuff. So, it's really easy. Go to content, patch, and just take what's here and put it in there. And that's all you do. It might take a little bit of time to replace. Depends on how fast your storage is. But once that's done, you should be able to load up the game. You should be able to go into Smasher or, or training mode or whatever. And you should have the DLC characters. And remember, if the screen turns black, you did not do something wrong. You need to disable all input and enable it again to get it to work. But that should be everything. If you guys have any issues, if you didn't get something working, if something's, you know, um, wrong, you know, I look at my YouTube comments a lot. I get notifications. Shoot me a message. Comment. Dislike the video. Okay, maybe not dislike it. Just do it. <laughs> Find a way to communicate with me, and I will try my best to fix your problem. But I essentially went through the exact process in which I installed my DLC and patch version 288. Now, it is crucial that after installing the patch, which you must do first, that you run the game before you attempt to install the DLC. You should always do that. Just keep that in mind when you're doing it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, like the tutorial, you know, hit a little thumbs up, like, thumb lum up whatever you guys want uh it really helps me out uh shoot a comment give me some opinions what did you guys think of the video what can i work on etc so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video